today you are joining me from the New Forest in the United Kingdom. So let's have a walk around and see what ant species we can find native to this region and learn a little bit about their behaviours. You know what guys, I'm seeing a lot of uh, mounds, dirt mounds in the ground here. Now this could be the yellow meadow ant, the Laceus flavus. This has got to be one of my favourite Laceus um, species. A fun little fact for you guys, the queens for this uh, Laceus species are actually a, like a dark brown colour, whereas the workers, as you can see here, are quite an orange-yellow colour. And it's definitely the colouration which uh, makes me favour these ants, this, uh, these Laceus, over, um, over some of the other Laceus species. Oh wow, okay, Formica species, they seem to be taking food in this general direction. Oh my god, what is that over there? Oh my god, there's a uh, that net, that net. Let's go check this out. Oh wow, there's absolutely, there's so many Formica all over this floor here. all swarming around my shoes as well. I'm going to try and get a closer look at this nest without being uh, ripped to shreds or squirted at. I can't believe the, the actual size of this nest. I know it doesn't look good here, uh, look big here, but if I do this, you can kind of see it compared to the forest floor here. There's absolutely so many ants all over my shoes. Lovely, absolutely gorgeous nest. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they are all over me. So guys, here we can see a Formica elate, and this is a female, so this is a soon-to-be queen. Now, I can see uh, there's quite a few of these elates uh, hanging around in this huge nest here, and this is probably because they're preparing to, uh, for the nuptial flights in the upcoming spring season. And if I don't say so myself, I am thoroughly looking forward to the, uh, the spring nuptial flights. So if you guys are looking forward to the nuptial flights, uh, the upcoming nuptial flights, be sure to let me know in the comment section below which ant you are uh, specifically looking forward to catching this, uh, this anting nuptial season. But myself, I am looking forward to catching uh, so maybe some laces flavors, perhaps some of these formica queens hiding away in this nest. Maybe one of them will be mine. <laughs> um, but I'm in love with this nest. Speak of the devil, here is a formica elate. Like I said, soon to be queen. She's, uh, she's snuck out the nest just to get a, uh, a sneak peek of what's to come. So guys, ants travelling in this direction seem to be carrying a lot of materials such as grass and other like uh, bits like food and everything back to this nest over here.
whereas other ants traveling in this direction away from the nest will be looking for uh, food and materials to build the nest with. So guys, Chloe has just spotted this huge formica trail going up this tree here. So these ants will be traveling up into the, onto the leaves of the trees uh, to farm aphids, uh, perhaps aphids. In uh, this kind of forest, you'll get aphids. And aphids, they will harvest kind of a honeydew they will pick up aphids and they will drop them onto new pastures, new leaves for the aphids to feed on and uh, the ants will extract honeydew from them. And uh, ants and humans are the only two uh, living organisms on the planet which actually farm other organisms. How amazing is that? How clever is that? So yeah guys, I absolutely love this ant. Let's just do a kind of like a bird's eye view here. Crazy, crazy ant. And I absolutely love them. This has probably got to be one of my new favorite ant species, Formica. Definitely very interesting ant. Absolutely beautiful. It seems uh, Chloe's found a, a second thatch nest over here. Right, let's go and uh, let's go and check that one out. Could be a bit of a jump. <laughs> wow. This is a this is a formica, definitely a formica nest. Now this is definitely a species which um, is renowned for squirting formic acid. I will, uh, I'm going to attempt to capture their uh, defensive display here by just waving my hand over the top. Let's um, see how we get here, Look, they're detecting my hand. These ants are truly amazing. I would, uh, I would absolutely love to uh, to keep a colony of, uh, of formica ants, and who knows, I might do in the future. So we found two different mounds. This one, and the one over this stream here. Now I'm just thinking, imagine if this stream dried out one day, and the two ant colonies collided. So when two ant colonies kind of, if these two ant colonies did collide there would be more of a chemical and a, and a physical dispute. Uh, it's all more to do with territory and claiming the land and the food around uh, in this forest. What happens sometimes with uh, ant colonies of the same uh, species, they will tend to steal brood. So if this colony discovered the other, co other colony, they would send a raiding party perhaps over to this other nest and they would steal brood, bring it back to their nest and raise it as their own young. How messed up is that? <laughs> but these are very two awesome ant colonies. So I think we should keep going down the trail and see if we can find any more types of ants. Oh, I'm seeing some movement down here. Okay. Seems here we have a. Oh, she's gone. Was a marimica, marimica species. Seems to be a, a few of these ants around here. 
do love Mimica. They are uh, one of my favourite uh, coloured ants. Very, uh, very orange when you shine them in the light. So guys, the nest is about 20 metres away in uh, this direction. You can kind of see the mound right here. But it's 20 metres away and ants are actually travelling from the nest here all the way down here. And I have actually just spotted a, a worker hiding in this little uh, hole in the tree. These ants will truly do anything to uh, to get food. They're amazing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure to visit the new forest here in the UK. Obviously, this is a bit of a, like a vacation for me because I live near London. So this is absolutely awesome, but it's been a great trip here, great visit here, and it's good to see some of the ants native to this area. As always guys, if, uh, if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button to join the colony, because I upload a new video every single weekend to do with ants, and be sure to hit the blue ant to check out my videos and to see my channel. All right then guys, Ooh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next one.